Good morning guys. So today we're going to be making some bands. The most common thing I'm asked lately is about bands. Hunting setups, 9.5mm steel setups, 8mm steel setups, what I use, what I should use. Um, let's start with active length. What you want to do when you're trying to find your active length is get a tape measure, draw the tape measure out from where your catapult to your anchor point would be. My draw length is 69 centimeters, 27 inches. If you divide that by 5.5, it will give you your active length, what it should be when your bands are tied on. Excuse me, and that is for a five and a half times stretch ratio. You can probably stretch your bands out six times if you want them to be more maxed out, more powerful, but there's really no need to do that. Today we're going to be cutting some 0.66 GZK green, which is my favourite colour. All the colours do perform slightly different, so 66 green, 66 yellow, 66 black, they're not the same, but they are the same. They're the same thickness, but they, the dye seems to affect the latex in different manners. Green is my favourite because it's kind of in the middle, middle ground, and 0.66 bands are the most versatile bands, meaning with the 0.66 band, it can be tailored quite well to suit um, seven, eight, nine and a half, probably 11 mil steel quite nicely. Today we're going to be using a template off AliExpress to cut these at a 19 mil to an 11 mil taper, which is an eight mil taper, which I'm liking. I used to shoot predominantly 6mm tapers, but I quite like this setup. A little bit more speed, similar draw weight. Um, I just had a sip of my coffee, I'm still half sleeping. My wife and I have just had a baby girl last week, a new addition to the family, so you can imagine the sleep at night has reduced greatly. <laughs> but yes, we're going to cut some 6 or 0.66 GZK. We're going to cut these for 8 mil steel. Good afternoon. Hello. Congrats, congrats. Thank you guys. Thank you. I've got a message. Oh, there we go. Out of the way. Let me see. Can I get this up? Yeah. So, 0.66. I've just done some with the comments. Yeah, so 0.66 is your most versatile band. It's a great place to start. I like 0.62 for the 8 mil. 0.62, it depends on your draw length. My draw length, length is quite short. Um, even though I'm a six foot man, I must have little short arms. And I don't have my shoulder or elbow locked out. Some guys push that right out. My anchor points only to the start of my face. And I'm drawing there. My elbow isn't locked. My shoulder isn't locked. Um, so if you've got a longer draw, you don't need the thicker band. If you, The longer your draw goes, the more time your ball's accelerating, the less you really need to be holding back here. So let's get this started and get these cut on my template. If I can just angle this down here, hope that's okay. So I'm lucky enough with my short draw that I can cut my bands off across the row at 150 centimeters or 15 centimeters, 150 mil. So I can line this jig up to the 15 centimeter mark I get my little rotary cutter and I can just cut across the row you know if you don't we'll cut longer bands in a minute that I'll use for semi butterfly but these are great leaves you perfect 
tapers every time. And this 0.66 at 19 to 11 mil with 8 mil steel will be very very quick. These will be good hunting bands. And I hope to get out later guys um, and shoot a video, a hunting video, catch and cook video. I know you guys love the catch and cook, catch and cook because it seems to be one of my best viewed stuff. My rotary cutters may be a wee bit blunt there. But you know, sometimes you lose a couple of strips using these templates. Like that one there is going to be no good. But you can see it's quick if you if you happen to lose a couple of strips. You know, I'm happy enough to lose them. Because I get I didn't lose any there. Oh wait, I still got more here. Because it's so much quicker and you don't have to mess around marking them with a ruler and pen. See that there? I've lost them at the end. I should have probably pushed down a little bit harder. Lost, lost a strip out of that. But anyway, that's besides the point. We'll put that there. So here we have some tapers. This is my band jig. If you want one of them, there's a link in the description of a previous band making video we've made. This is an updated video because I'm making my bands kind of different nowadays. I'm using this stuff. It's off AliExpress. It's a, it's an elastic thread. It's fantastic. It is fantastic for tying bands. It's so neat and tidy. I'm shooting a combination of GZK pouches and HDH pouches. I like this microfiber. There's nothing else lasts like it. Because it's like a laminate pouch, but it's not a laminate pouch. It's actually, this is the way the material is. It's got a, a stiff side and a, a softer microfiber side. The Chinese actually shoot these smooth side out. But the Chinese shoot a lot lighter bands and a lot lighter ammo. I shoot it rough side out. I, I have the ball in the smooth side of the pouch. This is a very, very smooth thing. Finish here. Right, let me see. I've got my little pair of snips. Don't ask me where I got these. My friend gives them to me, Alex Rodriguez. And these are blunt as well. Because I'm cutting stuff with them that I shouldn't be cutting with them. They were amazing when I first got them. Okay, so with these, that's probably a wee bit too long. I've just cut a bit of that crystal string off there you know like 15 centimeters so guys complain about getting getting their band through the small hole of the pouch what you want to do is you fold it over that way and you push it through i'm not seeing any comments i think i might have disabled them if you guys have any questions ask away somebody drop me a comment there to see if it flashes up So that's that pulled through. I shoot 6.2 black and 9.5 taper 25 to 20. Would you say that would be okay? 0.62. Yeah, that sounds good, pal. 0.62 black, 25 to 20. That sounds pretty bang on to me, pretty efficient. I see a lot of guys overpowering 9.5 steels. A lot of guys overpowering 9.5 steels. It's easy to do. Man, I've done it for years when you're into catapult hunting. You, you, you become power obsessed. You know, you think heavier is better. And you, you might notice when you put a band set on, excuse me, and you're shooting at your catch box and your shots are coming out like bullets. That's all well and good, but... You really don't need the shot going that hard. And shot placement is so much better. Yes, uh, Ohio Zombie, in cold weather, every year I have to adapt. And it's whenever you're... It comes with experience. Because whenever I started out and I had a taper, a summertime taper, 
competition season, that's whenever everybody would be going to England. I'd have a taper and I'd be shooting really, really good with it. 10 metres, 15 metres, because let's face it, everybody's a target shooter. It doesn't matter what you're shooting at, it's a target. But then come the colder weather with the same band set that I had been competitively using all summer, it was no good, it was dropping off. So you always have to up your taper a wee bit. Thank God now we've got all these new bands, we can keep the taper the same and go up a thickness. The thicker bands withstand the cold better than the thinner ones. Power is no good without accuracy, my man. No good. Um, you know, me and my friend Ken always joke about it. Uh, shooting a really heavy setup and the shots are coming out super hard, but you're missing. What do you say? Oh, geez, that rabbit would have been fucked if I had had it. <laughs> you know, if I had had it, you need to hit the thing. So it's finding the balance. And overpowering a shot is no good anyway because it's inefficient. Jofie, you <laughs> Jofie, borrow us a tenner, will you, lad? <laughs> 0.62 black, 25 to 20. Yeah, 0.62 black, 25 to 20 is grand. That's 100%. Sorry, pal, I don't speak Russian. Uh, borrow us a tenner, will you, lad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, I've got that trampoline for sale out the back, Jofie. You want to come over? We get a look over the wall. Right, so I'm tying these up. This is what I do. I measure the access against my thumbnail. I'll try and show you the fold. So you can see there, it's the same length as my thumbnail. I don't bother with marking them. So this is a tri-fold. It's kind of like, if any of you uh, smoke rollies, roll your own cigarettes, it's kind of like rolling a cigarette. Maybe some of you are rolling other kind of cigarettes. I have that rolled over and then I fold it kind of hard to do just the way I'm doing it at the minute. So I've got that rolled up. It's like a trifold. It's like rolling a, a cigarette and tobacco into a skin. So there we have our fold. Okay. I got that secured. So I put the center hole of the pouch into the pin here. Pull that across and that snares that in there. Now I take my take my piece of elastic thread and you see this gap between the two bands there. What I do is I start it by feeding it through here. This is unnecessary but it makes it a wee bit easier. So that's through there. No Charlie the competition runs to the end of August pal. So you can keep sharing the video. I've got the catapult in the box beside me, the D1. So I've got this snared across. I'm holding it on this side with my thumb. You can see it there, put in between the two bands. And I'm now gonna wrap this 10 times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. You can get away with less than ten, but if you're using like traditionally, we would have used uh, off cuts of elastic as binding strips, and it would we would have the elastic's thicker, and the we would have cut the strips slightly thicker, and you could have got away with using less ties. This stuff is extremely thin and light. So it's, it's good to have that little extra few wraps. Just give that another wrap. Okay, now all we're doing is tying a square knot on top of this. I missed that comment about the newbie there. Right, so there we have that tied. This is just, I'm just tying a square knot on this, guys. Give it three wee knots and then that's it that band is good to go we'll cut it off and we'll leave a little bit of excess sometimes when you this stuff can slip slip a wee bit just when it settles in so you can see here's our tie the band jig 
Thanks, Charlie. Um, these band jigs, you can get them on dangkung.com. If you look through my videos, like you, a couple of years ago, I'd done a video called How to Make an OTT Band Set or How to Make a Slingshot Band Set. In the description of that video, there's a link to where you can get this. Okay, so now we trim our excess off. I like to leave about three or four mil. And then we've got just a wee bit of excess of the tie off and we can trim it off too. And there you see, is our nice, neat little TTF tie. So I can kind of do this other one a bit quicker. You're tying bands as we speak, good man, Chris. <sighs> HDH, aim higher. Have a look at them guys for bands. That's Ben Priestman, I believe. Ben sells. Ben will sell you band sets, catapult accessories, and I think he sells rolls of elastic too. So if you don't want to buy stuff out of China, you can buy it in the UK. Message retracted. Bands, I'm tying bands as we speak. Good man, Chris. Yeah, so like we were saying earlier, the 0.66 is a good, versatile all around band. I've actually tied 0.63 yellow. Alfie, what brand is that? So I've actually tied this the wrong, <laughs> the wrong way around. It just goes to show you you're paying attention. The pouch. It's fine, yeah, it's shootable, but, excuse me, I prefer to have the rough side out, and I currently have it tied in. It will make a difference. I wouldn't shoot, I wouldn't shoot this for a competition, but I can certainly use it this way. 0.62 yellow GZK 9.5 Alfie, aye, that's fine. Um, I used to shoot 0.66 yellow 23.17 with 9.5mm but like I said earlier my draw length is quite short it's only 27 inches 69 centimeters um, I know guys that got great um, success with um, 0.6 bands 20 to 15 um, it just depends on your draw and it depends on your stretch ratio these bands here I'm stretching them five and a half times my active length so we got this in our band jig. I'll bring you in a bit closer. It's a lovely view there. Okay, so this little gap here. We'll just feed the, the band through there. This is so hard to show on video and actually do. 20 to 12. 20 to 12 is a good cut. I have a, a, a template upstairs that cuts 22 to 12. The bands don't last terribly long though. 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll try. Can this zoom? Oh, it can. I'll try now and show you. Now, see, because I snared this through the gap in the bands at the start, I don't need to hold on to it. That's why I do that. Which way do I tie the pouch for OTT? I'll show you in a minute, Rob. Right, so you get these two bits here. It's bunched up a bit. It's because them scissors didn't cut that right. All right, but see, bit of Lewis Capaldi on the background, and then we just cut them off 
with about 10 mil to play to see if they slip back in any, which these haven't. Alan Davis, rate of errors, my mom is watching me, hello rater. Right, and we just pull that like that. There we go. So there's our tied band set. So them's TTF ties, but I consider TTF ties. Right, and let me just think. Instead of tying a lower set of bands, I can show you. Oh, what we're doing. Rob. So this here, Rob, is a TTF tie. You see it? This here is an OTT tie. You see the difference? I have a video on tying OTT bands. I hope that shows the difference. Um, I tie them different because the, the, they're easier to sight down. So let me see, I'm going to put these in a the catapult. I've got this catapult with a 0.7 precise on it. You might be able to see a bit of the precise. This is my GZK. The bands broke on me, and they just uh, my GZK bands broke on me, and they were the only tapers I had with me. So, 0.66 is a great place to start for any ammo, really. Um, lately, if I've been using 9.5 steel, and I've been hunting. I I use 0.72 grain, 23.17. I can still be accurate and there is a lot of there's a lot of bang for your buck there. 0.76. I tried 0.76 black with 9.5mm steel. It was very, very fast, very powerful, but it was too heavy. Accuracy suffered greatly and it, it, I didn't need it. I didn't need the extra power. The 7.2 was stopping everything at maybe two thirds of the draw weight. You know, and I don't, I don't need my ball to still be flying flat after 20 meters because I'm not taking shots at that range anyway. We've all done it, took a pot shot at something 25, 30 meters away, but you shouldn't be doing it. You know, it's, it's a catapult. It's a bit of stick, a bit of elastic. Eight mil, Corey. Eight mil. Go into Philip Neeson in the great outdoors and rescue mil and Brashane and buy a thousand eight mil off him for a tenner. Right, so I'll maybe go out and take a few shots. Where did your. Jeez. I've never had an issue with the clips. Um, never have I had an issue with clips on a G Z. I've never. I don't actually think I've ever had an issue with clips on any frame I've bought. I had one frame actually that I got out of China for about eighteen quid, and they were sharp. That's just a quality control issue. Thank God it's it's easy sort it. A bit of wet and dry sandpaper, fix your. Uh, sand down your uh, the sharp bit with like a 240 grit or 320 grit something like that I've never had an issue with sharp clips that is a quality control issue that probably 
struggling to make them quick enough, really, because everybody wants one of these. Um, and they're a good catapult. 800 grit, uh, 800 grit stayed on it. Depends how sharp a lip is on it, you know. That one I got off AliExpress that had a sharp lip was a substantial sharp lip, but I think I took it down with uh, 180 grit. Uh, a couple of seconds done it, and then get, went to the finer sandpapers after that. Right, let's see. I might lose internet out the back. get some balls. I'm going to hopefully get out later on with my mate Paul and do a hunting video. I've just got a box of balls here at the stairs. There's my wee baby's Moses basket. Right, now I've got a one inch target out, out here. Just don't be expecting any magical shooting out of me. we are. One inch target, 10 meters. Two. <laughs> we bit high. We bit high again. There we are. Well, that's the point seven precise. I actually like that stuff, but um. Stands no good. It's uh, it's actually lighter. Sorry, I lost just there. I lost just there for a second. And here is how much time has gained experience. I'm not sure what that means. There's a few naturals I have cut. Y you know, you're always with catapults. You're always learning. Nobody's, nobody's an expert. Don't get me wrong, a lot of guys know a lot of stuff. But you never, you're never going to know it all. And if you slip into, if you slip into this, if you slip into this thing where you think you know it all, you're in a bad place. And you kind of need humbled, really. Um, I'm still learning. My catch box, Corey, is an old fucking, an old drum. The face cut off it and it wouldn't stick hanging in the back of it. And like old rags and stuff hanging from the stick. Whenever you shoot into it, you're shot. The rags absorb your shot. You're clever. I don't know about that. That's not what the teachers at school told me. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Because it's quarter to one and I've been rambling on here for 29 minutes and 40 seconds. So I hope that helped somebody. Oh, see these here micrometers. These are great tools to have for measurements. When you buy flat bands, you can always test your thicknesses. If you want to make bands, you need a rotary cutter, you need a steel ruler, you need a self healing mat, you don't really need a band jig, you can tie bands without a band jig, but that there is three quid, and it's brilliant. So, that's it guys, band jigs on AliExpress, 
I don't have a link you can look if you want. Alright Alan, thank you mate. Thanks for watching guys. We have about 30 viewers there, live viewers for about half an hour so that was, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will get a video done today hopefully and upload it during the week. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.